Okay, I'm excited about this one. I've been looking at them for a while. I'm not catching a year when they're open or anything. I am seeing that before uh, they went ahead and were brewing together, they bumped into each other, starting a tech company, and they were loving the concept of tech spec style beer. They did a few jalapeno pilsners and things like that. Eventually getting a, a storage unit where they started out, I think they were in Cedar Park. And now the permanent location is in Dripping Springs. Uh, I've heard different things about the lagers. People are, um, you know, here and there about it. Um, I had one before, but it had been a while. So I wanted to see one for the video that I would probably enjoy. And this one's called the 1092 Pale Ale. It's focused on being a West Coast style of uh, concept on the pale. And it's uh, the name is dedicated to their elevations. So their elevation is 1092 above sea level feet. So it's pretty cool. It's interesting. They're, oh, it says it right here. 2011 is when they really established themselves. I've been looking all over for that, but their site looks awesome. They're not too far from here. I'm hoping to go see the brewery. So this is their pale ale. Um, it doesn't state the bitter units. I had one earlier and I think the bitter units are like under 40 on, for pales is gonna be less than that. So we'll go ahead and do the pour on this. Get my 11 below glass, try and get one that's pretty clear. You can see that beautiful color. It's a little bit darker, but not too dark, just a beautiful golden color. You can see the head on that. So it's nicely carbonated. They, they take pride in using their uh, water, where they're at, they have really good spring water. So starting off with great water is always the key to good beer. So St. Arnold's does it, they pH balance their water. This one, they start off with good local water. So the amount of grain and the hops leaves like a little butter, like it feels like cream, like, you know, like starch creaminess on it. The flavor itself is clean, um, lighter than like other heavier beers, but definitely more than a lager. To me, it has a light fruitness from the malt and a little bit of uh, like grassy notes. That's what West Coast usually is. But there is a tinge of citrus in there, but it's not super identifiable. It seems almost grapefruity. But it starts off grass, cleans off the citrus. It's just a little bit in there the way they brewed it. I think it's a wonderful beer. Uh, people are giving them bad rep. I mean, this is a good pill. Can't argue, it's good, simple, clean beer. Twisted X beer company, uh, brewery company. I would like to see them, you know, you start off with good water, you get good beer, and that's another good craft beer. So I hope you enjoy this one and drink with your friends and be safe and cheers on that one. Okay, so I'm gonna add on this video every so many videos. I'm gonna go ahead and just ask, you know, please subscribe, uh, like, uh, put some comments up there. Uh, if you learned something, you're cool, that's awesome. If you just have something to say, um, you know, try and keep it a little night. Nah, I'm not expecting to be sheer coded, but you know, other people are gonna be here that aren't big on cussing and stuff like that. You know, um, you should be able to make it soon. You can message me one-on-one. -on -one. I can deal with that. You know, we, not everybody has the time to go looking for all this information. Somehow I'm finding time between work and I'm just, because I enjoy beer. So this is a good pale ale. It's a little more intense than your average pale ale like rolling rock rolling rocks okay but that's really light compared to this one and so that's the distinction i hope that someone can use to say hey you know do i want something a little more or do not want to relax a little bit you know so as far as ipas this is a step back um, as far as lagers this is a jump forward um, as far as like rolling rock or something this is a little more than that but a little behind ipas still hoppy refreshing beautiful flavor can't go wrong with it. So do check out Twisted X. They've been around for a while. They established themselves and they're in Dripping Springs now and that beautiful spring water is making a difference in their beer. And I hope that it reaches out to everybody and you have a good day and uh, with this heat coming up that you enjoy a cold one.